Um, the reason I started People of Cowtown is because I was following a page on Facebook called Humans of New York, and they had some great stories out, out there on the people that he contacted, you know, on a daily basis. And I love the people of Kansas City. I, we have a lot of heart, we're giving, we're caring, we're kind, and I just want to show the rest of the world what Kansas Cityans are made of. Um, during the World Series, they didn't even know where we were at. And it's kind of sad because, like they say, we're flyover states, but if they stop and stay a while, they will be very pleasantly surprised. I kind of have to look at their body language and their eyes and make sure that, you know, I can tell when people are busy and when they're going to lunch, and I can tell, I usually stop people who are by themselves because it's a little bit easier to do one-on-one -on -one than it is with a group. So, um, and sometimes I just, Step right in front of them and ask them if they've heard of people of Cowtown and say, say my name and ask them if they'd be willing to share their story with the world. What I tell them when I stop and talk to them and I say, you know, this is about you. This is your time to take whatever you want to say, whatever you're uh, passionate about. It's your platform. And so if you feel strongly about something, you know, the rest of the world is ready and willing to listen to it if you just want to share. So this is help me to be able to reach out to people and be able to show them or at least listen to them because everybody wants somebody to listen to them so I, and when you do that it kind of makes humanizes everybody and that's what it's kind of like what I want to do I want to make somebody feel like it they're important just for that one time that one moment